I like the odd. It's kind of funny for guitar players. I'm just gonna take off the screenshot here because you could do something like, "Oh, I'll write a. I want to do a song in, in, in five, and it's like you have five fingers. So you could just do something like this. <laughs> well, I hope we all have five fingers, but I don't want to assume. But you could do something like this: one, two, three, four, five. Something really simple, just all five fingers like this. So I'm going one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. People think you're brilliant. You gotta find, you know, odd time signatures on that and have fun with odd time signatures. Then you could write a melody going, you might go one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna play something here for you and you tell me what time signature I'm in. And if you don't know, that's okay. It's just, I'm just gonna talk about it this way. I was in three. Am I in three, four? Am I in three, eight? Am I in three sixteen? Three four? It we really don't know. But the fact that you said that I'm in three, that's what's important. But yeah, I was thinking three four time, a waltz, where there's three quarter notes. And you know, it only matters when you see it on paper. <laughs> then then you're like, oh, that's a quarter note on the bottom. Three quarter notes per measure. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Now, here's another song. But someone could have said, hey, you're in three, four. Then it would have been one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's kind of whatever the sheet music happens to be or whatever I say I feel. Three, four, and six, eight could be the same thing. Sometimes I'm um, So whether it's one, two, three, one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. You're, that's gonna be a big discussion. You can look on YouTube. People are talking about that. Is this song a 6-8 or is it a waltz in 3-4? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, a, it's an ongoing debate. So, but again, that's, that's interesting. So sometimes you'll hear, and again, here's another example. Count six when I play this. This is an REM song. See, in that case, you can kind of really tell it's in six because of the, where the bass strikes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, you know, the stress. So again, that's a six, eight song. <laughs> and that means common time, four, four. That's just this. Now, it doesn't matter if I'm strumming some eighth notes in there or, or whatever, you know, the, I, you can add a lot of fancy rhythms, but it's where you feel that pulse. One, two, three, four, one. what a metronome would be counting, you know, their drummer, one. That's typical pop rock, of course. Um, I'm just gonna go through a few more here. Uh, something and that's called cut time. Okay, so the you might hear someone say, let's play it in cut time. So instead three. of going one, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Mm. Same with some swing, a fast swing. One, you might feel it, one, three, the bass player's going boom, 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 one, three, boom. And that's often you'll see on the sheet music. Two, three, four, five. That's an odd time signature. Five quarter notes. And the best example I could play for you is this.
four, five, one, let's see. And that one is, is, it's really about how it's grouping. That, and that's a, called a compound time signature. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write it out for you. It goes, I'll, I'll show you how it's written on the paper here. It's kind of interesting. It's, it's in nine, eight, <laughs> but it's one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, that's four, one, two. Those are four eighth notes, six eighth notes. And then this one, two, three, it's wacky. And it was in, it's called Blue Rondo a la Turk. And it is inspired from street musicians in Turkey when when Brubeck was Brubeck wrote the three one two one two one two one two three. It's that compound time signature. I like the odd. It's kind of funny for guitar players. I'm just gonna take off the screenshot here because you could do something like, oh, I'll write a, I want to do a song in 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 five, and it's like you have five fingers. So you could just do something like this. Well, I hope we all have five fingers, but I don't want to assume. But you can do something like this, one, two, three, four, five. Something really simple, just all five fingers like this. So I'm going one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. People think you're brilliant. You got a five, you know, odd time signature song. Or you might do something really simple, just a, a lot of guitar. There's a guitar player I really love. His name's Ralph Towner. He's from the band Oregon. He's composed this way quite a bit. Beautiful music too. One, two, one, two, three. So if you have a loop pedal, loop that and have fun with odd time signatures. Then you could write a melody going, you might go one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Review of how to think in time signature. What's kind of important again as my demonstration with the basic waltz. One, two, three, one, that you feel where the stress is, the accent, where one is. That then you can at least say, oh that's in that's in three. Or oh that's in five. Four, five, one, eight. You know, just to know the grouping, or just basic four, four. 